So, I just got done watching a documentary called Citizen Cook. It was released in 2013 and looked at the effects that the Citizens United case that happened three years earlier had. Now, if you don't know the Citizens United case, was the one that said corporations are people too, and they're allowed to donate as much as they want to, to any campaign. And basically, while money in a politics was an issue before then, this is when it started getting really bad. And I figured, hey, I'm a supporter of Justice Democrats. That's one of their main goals, get money out of politics. Why not watch this movie about it? Now, Citizen Coke has two main stories that it's sort of following. And the first one is about the, at the time, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Yes, that's Scott Walker for all my secular talk fans. Um, but basically, what happened was he got into office after getting huge donations from the Koch brothers and started cutting things like unions. And because of that, people wanted to recall him. However, again, with how much money he was getting, it was very difficult to do that. The other main story of the movie is about a man named Buddy Romer, I believe is how you pronounce it. Basically, he was a Republican presidential candidate in 2012, however, he was not allowed on debate stages, and he kept making the goals the debate committee kept giving for him. He was supposed to, first he needed 1% of the vote, he got that, then he needed 2% of the vote, then he needed half a million dollars, and all of this, and his main, his main form of campaign was basically, I'm not taking any PAC money, I'm not taking any super PAC money, I'm taking money from you. And due to how bought out all of his competitors were, it was very difficult for him to be able to get on a debate stage because everyone else had billions of dollars behind them. The few people who knew who Buddy was seemed to be very popular. He had a scene where he was in New Hampshire for the primaries and everyone seemed to love him there. And he wasn't allowed on the debate stage even though people would have appeared to really love him because he didn't have enough money, and that was a very sad moment. It's sad that money was able to ruin this man's political career. Both of these stories are told very well and do a very good job of showing the corruption of big money in the political system, and that is the main strength of Citizen Coke. It does a great job at showing you what the political system turned into, and it was who has the biggest wallet. And it was a truly sad film to watch on that basis. This is a movie I highly recommend everyone check out. This is the best documentary I think I've ever seen. It is, at the very least, it's like number two. And it is just, wow. It does such a great job of showing how your political system has been corrupted. And it's a very, in, I don't want to say enjoyable, but it's a very interesting watch to say the least. And I highly recommend this film on that basis alone. Also, before I end, I just want to say, am I the only one who was reminded by, of Fahrenheit 9-11 by some of the music they played? just wanted to know. Anyway, I'm Ephraim, and good night.